So today we're going to cook a, a beautiful piece of smoked gammon. It's a very old-fashioned recipe that I got from a teacher who used to work at the Dorchester many, many years ago. And it's baked in a bran crust very, very slowly overnight for about five, six hours, depending upon how big the joint of meat is. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the crust now. Tip the bran. Make a well in the centre. Okay, so the, the kettle boiled about 15, 20 minutes ago, so the water is hot but not boiling, and then we just start to mix it in. Now, you, you don't want the paste too wet, and you don't want it too dry, because if it's too dry, uh, it's very difficult to get it around the ham, and if it's too wet, it will just fall off the ham. So it's just getting the consistency right. So we just keep adding water bit by bit to the brown, so we get it to a nice pasty consistency and just knead it a little bit. So now we've got the dough, now we start pushing the dough out until it's about uh, two centimetres in thickness and then we have a piece of paste big enough to wrap the ham in. And then we've got the ham which has a nice little bit of fat in it so that when it cooks it'll help it stay moist as well. Keep a little bit of paste back so that when uh, the ham is in the oven and you check it with a skewer or a probe later, you can reseal the hole with a little bit of fresh paste so the steam doesn't escape. And just get some cold water and just rub it over the paste and it'll help uh, get rid of any cracks and help it seal a little bit more and then no steam will escape and that'll help keep it moist. So now we just loosen the ham a little bit, lift it gently and pop it onto the tray and then we'll make sure there's no cracks appeared while we lifted it and then we will put it into an oven at 220 degrees centigrade. When the heat is penetrated after about an hour through the crust we'll turn the oven down to about 110 centigrade and we'll just let it cook very very slowly until the gammon which will become ham reaches a core temperature of about 72 degrees so we know it's cooked all the way through. So the, the ham is now ready uh, We've checked the t temperature and we've got a core temperature of 72 degrees centigrade. Okay, the crust is nice and firm and hard and we've got a nice colour on it. And we can see that's protected the ham from the heat. Okay, and then we take that out and just leave that to cool down. The garnish for the gammon, we're just going to keep it very simple. Just some nice crushed potatoes mixed with a little bit of handmade Irish butter and some wilted spinach and a light dressing made with some sherry vinegar, some grain mustard, and some more, it's like a light mayonnaise. Okay, so the first thing while the ham's resting is to get the potatoes on, and then some salt. Get those cooking, because they're gonna take the longest. And then while they're cooking, we'll prepare the dressing. Start by cracking the eggs. A Couple of egg yolks, the sherry vinegar, a couple of tablespoons, and then some grain mustard. The more mustard you like, the more you put in. So. And then we mix that until that's all nice and amalgamated. And what we'll do is just gradually start to add the oil, just like a mayonnaise. You don't want it as thick as a mayonnaise, you just want it quite light until you get the consistency that you want. So that needs a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Then we mix that again and then leave that for a couple of minutes so that the salt can work its way into it and then taste it again in a couple of minutes. So what we'll do now is we'll crack the crust open. Okay. And then what you find inside, all nicely cooked. It smells fantastic. And then just lift the meat onto the board. And then what we can do is we can just trim the, the skin off very gently. Then it's ready to carve when the garnish is ready. So the potatoes are cooked now, so we'll just drain those very quickly. Very gently, just crush them with a fork. And then we add some nice butter to it. And just let that melt while we cook the spinach. So we just get a little bit more butter. Let that start to melt and then we'll just add the spinach and let that wilt nice and gently. A little bit of salt. It's 
spinach is nicely wilted. And then we'll slice the gammon, which is beautiful and moist. It's absolutely fantastic. A little bit of the mustard dressing. And there you have it, a nice simple recipe for a nice Sunday summer's lunch.